Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at steps to enable the new AI features that Google is integrating into Chrome for Windows and Mac OS. Google is testing out the first wave of AI features starting with version 121 and as part of these new features we have a new option to organize tabs into groups using AI, the ability to create themes to change the appearance of the browser also using AI and of course there is a text generator feature that will generate draft of different type of text depending on the prompt that you use and this will appear in boxes or certain web applications okay let's dive into steps to enable the experimental ai features on chrome the following steps are available on chrome version 121 for windows 11 windows 10 or mac os so the first thing you have to do is to make sure that you're running the latest version of the browser and to do that just open chrome and then on the main menu go to settings and then go to the about chrome page and the browser is going to check if there are any available updates and if there is any version it's going to download and install on the computer if that's the case you will need to click the relaunch button that will appear at the bottom of the screen once you know you're on version 121 or higher release, you're going to notice the new experimental AI page and that's where you need to go to enable the new features. When you go to that page, you will need to turn on the try it out experimental AI features toggle switch. And that will enable all the features that are available to you. Uh, for example, in this first wave of update, there are three features, including the tab organizer, create, themes with AI and the help me write but that specific option the last one is not available to me as you can see I only have access to two also this first wave of features are rolling out for users in the United States but the company is always expected to expand the rollout to other regions once you enable the, the experimental AI features you need to click the relaunch button and now let's just have a closer look at these new features uh, for example I have a bunch of tabs open on my Chrome browser and now you can right click any of the tabs and you will notice that we have a new organized similar tabs option when you click that the search tab is going to open on a new tab which is called organized tabs and based on the tab that you selected it will try to find all the other open apps on the uh, same instance of Chrome and you can now to create a group and the addition of the emoji makes it easier to find the group of tabs. If you like how the AI organized the group of tabs, you just need to click the create group. And just like that, we have a group of tabs organized on Chrome. Now, if you want to organize other tabs, you need to click a different tab and do the same thing. You can also go to, you can also open the search tabs drop down and then go to organize tabs and click the check now button. And in my case, it's not working correctly, but I had tried it before. And what it does is going to find another group that you can uh, combine together with a different label and emoji to make it easier to identify. And you're gonna have to repeat the steps to create more groups depending on all the tabs that you have on your browser. Now, Google Chrome is also testing now the ability to create themes to change the appearance of the browser using AI. And to do that, you need to create a new tab. And from the new tab, you can click the customize Chrome button at the bottom of the page. And that will bring the side panel. And from here, you need to click the change theme button and now on the themes page we have a new option called create with ai you're going to click that and from here instead of writing the prompt of how do you want the themes to be created what chrome is doing is giving us some options so you don't have to type anything you just need to select what you want for example on subject you will basically be choosing the the topic let's just choose anything randomly you can also change the style let's choose animated and you can also choose the mood and let's just do it happy from here you can also select the primary color for the theme you can also click this button to select a custom color and then you just need to click the create button and that will use ai to create the themes and from here you can choose for any of the variants let's just pick this one right here and that will apply to your browser. 
Now, if you go back to the settings, you will notice that your recent AI themes is going to show up right here. The only feature missing on my browser, it's helped me write, but Google posted a screenshot of how that feature looks. And basically you will need to right click on a box that you'll be writing text and then you will choose the help me write option and then it will open this interface that you see right here and you can write a prompt and the AI is going to create a draft of text based on the conditions that you set on the prompt you can choose the length and the tone and if that is something that you like you can insert it on that text box and then you can edit it and make it yours and that's a quick look uh, the new AI features available on Google Chrome, which you can enable on Windows 11, Windows 10, and Mac OS, starting with the version 121. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.